I want you to listen to this scenario and tell me what you would do because a lot of people get this wrong. So let's say that you are somebody who wants to start saving more money. So you're like, okay, I'm gonna go back through my expenses, see where my money is going, right? And then I'm going to determine what I can cut or what I can change so that I can start putting more money towards the things that actually matter to me. You're saving for that house or for that trip you wanted to go on. And you're going through your expenses and you see, damn, I am paying a lot of money for this car loan, so I wanna reduce that. I am going to call the loan issuer and ask them what I can do to lower this monthly payment. So you call the lender and the lender goes, no problem, you have 72 months left on your loan, but what I can do is actually extend that up to 84 months, okay, and lower your monthly payment by $100 a month. And you're like, oh, this sounds awesome. It's just going to be extended for a little bit longer, but I am going to save $100 a month. So in your head, you're like, yeah, I have $100 a month more now than I can put in my savings. This is putting me in a better position than I was in before. Now, this is something that I see people do all the time and not only is it not saving you money, it's actually costing you more money because we are not looking at what our monthly savings are. We are looking at the total cost of the loan or the total cost of ownership. So even though you are saving $100 a month, you have just kicked the can down the road. Now, instead of paying this loan back over 72 months, you're going to pay it back over 84 months. And that extended amortization or that extended loan period, those are just more months that you're going to have to go to work to pay off that loan. That means you're going to be paying more interest as time goes on. The only time that I would consider doing something like this is if you've already cut your other expenses to the bare minimum and you are not able to make ends meet you are going into debt every month because you cannot float your lifestyle and your lifestyle is down to kind of bare bones expenses otherwise you're just putting yourself in a position where you are going to have to work harder and longer to make those loan payments so we always want to make sure that we are thinking about not only how our decisions are going to impact our finances today but how they're going to impact that over the long term i teach you about money if you want to learn more start with our free trainings link in bio